Did you win a championship or no? That's Kobe what I'm saying, like, hey, bro. You, there's only I'm one fucking matter. champion. Holy shit, bro. Exactly. Keep that shit in the fucking... Bro, that that, 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 is, that is not culturally bro, concise commentary, point? sir. That's 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 ESPN that's ESPN hot take fuckery, bro. There's only one fucking champion in every sport, bro. Not everybody can win a fucking championship. Yeah, that's why the Patriots won fucking eighty percent of them because they said, "No, we want to win more than everybody, and we're going to do what's necessary to win." Which is not easy. And guess what? The Texans ain't doing that. Bruh, 31 organizations ain't doing that. Holy shit. Well, 30, there's two going at it this week. Holy this week. shit. All right, man. In the, in the, in the, la- in the last domino, in the last domino in, in the quarterback uh, controversy, or one of the last dominoes, the Rams, Jerry Goff, rumors are circulating, and Les Snead really did nothing to dismantle them by essentially saying, uh, he's our starting quarterback for now. Apparently, there's going to be an open QB competition between him and Wolford, um, <laughs> which is fucking. It's honestly, it's it's it's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing f- to be a Rams fan. Like dog, your number Sorry. one, your number one pick, your last number one pick, number your only first round pick as an LA team. The dude who took you to a Super Bowl, granted, you lost by a touchdown to the Patriots, but still, you got there, and now, two years later, he's just trash. Like, how do you, how do you let somebody's confidence get down that high? Like, is, like, McVay, is McVay really ready to risk his career on Warford? Because guess what? If golf goes somewhere and is competent and finds that confidence again, like, it's going to be on McVay. McVay is going to be the egotistical Gruden Jr. who can't fucking make his scheme work more than half a season. <laughs> like, Well, he's already baby Gruden. He's baby Vegeta. This point, if we're being honest, if you remember Baby Vegeta and Matt Ark, that's McVay. If we're being totally honest, I'm old enough to remember I just when they blamed. Uh, I can't blame you. you. I'm old enough to remember when they blamed it all on Todd Gurley. Oh. But again, with we'll this, that out. with the same market and same kind of contract, what, what what can they bring in to trade for him? I mean, Safer. I mean, no value for him. there's also. Rumors that the the um, Cowboys might let Dak walk, anyways. Well, I um, think Stafford would be a better fit yeah, in Dallas true. if that would happen. Um, there's also Wentz, who we've talked about. Jameis is a free agent, um, so we'll see what happens. I think Carolina's trying to go after Deshaun as well. So there's a lot of teams trying to mix up the QB position this year, and. I, you know, I thought I thought last year would kind of be the year, but I think with I think the cap space thing is really going to make teams, you know, finally make that decision. Like, you know, the the Falcons are going to have to do something with Matt Ryan, <laughs> like yeah. just like Detroit's having to do something with to with Stafford. You know, the Bears, Trubisky, they're going to have to figure out: do we bring him back? Do we not? Like what? So there's there's a lot of uncertainty. Right now, at this moment, but I think after the end of the season, we'll have more clarity on on what what a starting quarterback looks like. I guess you could say. What would you think of Deshaun Watson in Atlanta? What do you think of Deshaun Deshaun Watson in L.A.? That'd be crazy. They don't have the ball to pull that trigger. They don't have the ball to pull that trigger. No, I don't think I don't think you could give enough. They they need draft pick. They need their draft picks so they they could get this year. I don't think they're willing to release them for Deshaun in L.A. I mean that'd be great. But well, I think the question is, how much is one Super Bowl worth? Right? Yeah. Because if you gave up picks for Ramsey, you've given up picks for all these other players you got before Ramsey. And now you go out, you finally get your Super Bowl caliber, MVP caliber quarterback. 
you win one year, right? You have to win that year for sure. Yeah, maybe two. They got a four year and and probably in three or four years, one of those three top. Because you're talking about having three players who are top two or one or three at their positions, position, yeah. which is fucking nuts. So at some point, somebody's going to get paid more money or fall off. So, you know, you're looking at probably like a two to three window, two, two to three year window off that and just throwing minimum, which the Rams have already been doing. They've just been picking up people off the scrap heap and making it work like Leonard Floyd, like. Dante Fowler, like, you know, the, those players weren't highly desired, but the Rams made something out of them because guess what? They have Aaron Donald. And, yeah, that's the thing. Aaron Donald's made a lot of people a lot of money. Yeah. Shout out to Corey Littleton. But that's the thing. When you have a talent like that <laughs> next to Aaron Donald that's going up there, you just need a decent talent to go with, and they'll look good. I mean, yep. they, those guys, I mean, like Leonard Floyd was a first-round pick, yep. and he had a pretty damn good year, but he couldn't do that in Chicago. Yep. So, they didn't. They should have just let him rest the passer with uh, Khalil Mack instead of trying to make him a coverage linebacker, which he never was. Agreed. Agreed. He should have just been a pass rusher, but, you know, I, I, I think. With and Fowler, Leonard Floyd, once they got to L.A., do what you do. Okay, cool. I mean, Clay Matthews was even tearing it up in L.A. Happened. for a minute. Yeah, he would. He had seven and a half sacks. Yeah. He can still be playing. I don't get shot at a and he broke his jaw that year. Oh, that's right. Man, uh, he broke his jaw and still almost had 10 sacks. All right, so... That's what I'm saying. Like, like whoever golf is, you're going to have to trade him to, like... Like, at this point, he's a poor man's Kirk Cousins. That's pretty fucking poor. Isn't he getting paid more than Kirk? You have to trade him to Detroit. <laughs> all right, you so... You trade him to Detroit. And after just John Swift, DeAndre Swift. All right, so with that, uh, let's go ahead and turn it over to college football and, and the Senior Bowl. All right. Well, hold on. Demetrius uh, Felton. Go ahead. Sorry. You know what's weird? That sounds horrible over the phone. <laughs> it doesn't sound as good as I thought it would. It's too loud. Yeah. The, the effect oh, is too loud. It's at 100%. It should only be at 75 courtside. <laughs> which we might be on courtside channel because I, I definitely didn't double check. <laughs> so we're probably no, on courtside no. channel. Oh, we're not? No, you guys are good. Yeah. All right, cool. I think they start doing it for us now. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Maybe that's it. This is the real MVP right now. Thank you for that. But I was like, I know he didn't. He did it, didn't he? But yeah, man. As far as the senior bowl goes, Kadarius Tony's pretty much almost a, a lock for the first round. He's kind of like a Percy Harvin clone, but uh, not quite the receiver. But he looks, he's been looking really great all week. I got another receiver out of Western Michigan. He's been killing it. Small time guy. Uh, but Demetri Selson definitely made himself some money out of UCLA. Kind of play like a hybrid role at UCLA. Sometimes he's a running back. This year he's a running back. And he had 999 rushing yards. Me personally, I'd have been pissed off. Hmm. I'm like, I can't get one yard, bro. You can't give me the one yard. I was sick. But yeah, they switched him to receiver, which he was better at anyway when he was like a sophomore. He just looks like a, a good receiver. And he'll probably be a better pro because, you know, UCLA, they don't develop receivers. At all. But he looks nice. He looks pretty good. Um, you got a couple D2, D3 guys there. Wisconsin, Whitewater. So, I mean, it's, it's really just the big names that are already big names that are already there, that are already seen as, like, high picks. They're pretty much performing per usual. Najee Harris actually was told not to perform, not to play at the Senior Bowl. And he's so competitive, he just wants to show up and compete in his drills. But they're like, his agent's like, you really shouldn't do this. Like, you literally have nothing else to prove. Like, you're Alabama's all-time leading rusher. Like, that's that's enough stats there. Anyway, there's a lot of talk about Matt Jones. Matt 
Jones out of Alabama. Because some people are like, eh, he's a first-round pick. Like, he's not the best athlete. He, he has, like, a Tom Brady body. But they're like, he's quick. He's, he's, he's smart. He's witty. I think he might be a good fit in the first round. So, Matt Jones, let's see how he performs at the Senior Bowl. Jamie Newman, who went to Wake Forest but transferred to Georgia but then sat out and didn't play at Georgia. Uh, he threw a couple picks, but otherwise he's interesting. But a big name that you're going to want to pay attention to, and he played at Florida and broke his uh, – he got hurt. And that's how Kyle Trash became a starter at Florida. But Kyle Trash is in that senior bowl because his ankle still messed up. So he got to sit that out. But Felipe Franks, he played at – he was a starter at Florida. Everybody thought he was going to be the next big thing. Then he gets hurt, breaks his leg. Transfers to Arkansas and actually has a really good season for Arkansas. They actually won some games. They had no business winning. And he's 6'6", six, six, at 240. There may be some potential there. He might get drafted really high just based off that. I think he's better than what Jason Easton was, who played at uh, Washington and was a kind of a high pick. I think Felipe Franks could, he could be something special. Because he doesn't bring on and he's kind of athletic. So that's definitely something to pay attention to. But as far as some receivers go, Kadarius Tony is pretty much the standard. I mean, we obviously have, you know, Devonta Smith, who's he broke his finger, so he's obviously not playing. But, you know, it's interesting. It's a, I'm, I'm only more concerned who's going to play come game time. But as far as, like, for the first time in a while, like, the people who are supposed to just come in and boost their stock, they're all doing it. I've been reading a lot about uh, Eskridge, too, another receiver out of Central Michigan. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was talking about. He's, he's been killing it out there, kind of big body. So we'll see. There's always, and the funny thing is, um, I think I said it was the Colts. Like most of the Colts roster from like the past two, three years, it's just nothing but senior ball guys. And Michael Pittman, um, Rocky Sin, like a gang of cats who are who went to the Senior Bowl and played pretty well. A lot of them are on the Colts roster, so I can see them snagging up a couple of DBs. So we'll see. We'll see what happens um, as far as the game goes. But definitely watch out for Matt Jones because it'll be interesting to see. Like if, it, if there's a fit for him, I can see him getting drafted by the Rams. Well, I could probably see him like you're. They're they're saying kind of like that top Tom Brady kind of body. I mean, I could see him being in New England because yeah, I know New England's not really known for using their first round draft pick, but they haven't drafted this high in twenty years. <laughs> I don't think they. I don't think they take the QB. Nate Soldier. Yeah, like they need tackles. You know if. Travis Etne is on the board. They might take him out of Clemson. Um, there's edge rushers. There's there's linebackers in this class. Uh, there's receivers in this class. They really need a receiver. Hell, and Kyle Pitts, I don't think he is out of Florida. He's off consensus the best tight end in the draft. If he falls to New England, they're taking him. They're not letting Kyle Pitts fall. And also, you got to look at QB. There's, there's QBs ahead of Matt Jones in this draft. Like everybody's in love with the North Dakota State pipeline of QBs, Trey Lance. He's a sophomore. He only played in one game this year. But he had last year he had twenty eight touchdowns and no picks. And he's athletic and he can scramble. They look at him like he's athletic, like Deshaun. But he's kinda of more like a Dak Prescott, but he's kinda of unrefined because he's a level of competition, but he's a good player. But if anything, I I see him going over Mac Jones because of potential and ceiling. But I don't see Mac Jones going top fifteen. I can see him going in the twenties. Twenty five might be a good spot. But yeah, they're there's they're really high on Mac Jones out of Alabama. So we'll see what happens. All right, so with that, uh, is is that it for your, your college football senior bowl info? Uh, there's some other stuff that's on the run now, but it's kind of college, but it's more 
wherever. I think it was Parker Tam yet, wherever I put it. I 